Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Ready guys, another episode of our Pokemon Infinity Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you guys are excited for this one, show some love, hit that like button down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And don't forget, shout outs to all my early access members at adrivelive.com. Thank you guys for being a plus member. For just five bucks a month, you actually get access to the episodes early, which helps me out a ton. So thank you to those who have done that. And of course, if you join for free at adrivelive.com, you have a chance to win a Nintendo Switch and a copy of Pokemon Legends Arceus. So don't forget to do that. Otherwise, if you missed the last one, man, things really got pretty intense. We took on our first Ego Elder, ultimately got our first badge, evolved a ton of Pokemon, and we've had some standouts on the team. Nala, despite her uh, propensity to only want to face female Pokemon, has actually been super clutch for us. And uh, you cannot forget about 07 joining the team, drinking up that Shine Splash G Fuel, playing with their lipstick, and ultimately just putting in the work. So we've got a lot of things to do on this episode. I think this is actually an area we can get an encounter, if I'm not mistaken. We're gonna have to see what we can find to get some lemonade. We'll look around here. And, oh, this is like a maze. Oh, maybe you, I don't have Rock Smash. Um, I feel like, like I said this in the last episode, I feel like this game does a really good job of a, like kind of forcing you to backtrack. It's not like the biggest map. It's not like the biggest region or whatever, but there's so many things that you can't do. TMOA bulk up. There's so many things you cannot do until you kind of like backtrack and, and do some things of that nature. So I feel like that's kind of cool. Definitely want to evolve Captain Jack here. Are you a trainer? You're not a trainer. Um, let's see what we're supposed to do here because I actually have no idea and we'll go from there. This guy wants a Loudred for his Haunter. Yo, I just missed out on that. I'm familiar with Eevee and I just missed out on an Eevee too. Wait, hold on. What'd you say? There's an Eevee evolution, Rock Round, Dragon, Fire Fairy, you get it. Is there fan-made evolutions in this? Did they really, did they? Moonstones and Astral Stones are the Nidoran species. When traveling, you may encounter wild Pokemon while moving through the grass. Zigzagoon, Marie, Ponyta, Azuril, Cottony, Talo, Skiddo. You may even run into Pumpkaboo, Volbeat, Illamizi, or Charjo. Charjo. Water. You can find Magikarp, Basculin, Finneon, and Trees. Let's see. Caterpie, Weedle, Cherubi. Yo, so we need to find a Charjo. I don't know what a Charjo is, but Hayfield Path apparently has a Pokemon card Charjo. And we're gonna need to figure out how the heck we find this thing. There's the special Azumarill! Bro! Okay, I gotta see what else we can find, but that's definitely a special Azuril. All right, so we found another one of these little trees, but I don't think there's anything super special in it. We saw the encounter table, so we know that, but we're looking for this Charjo, dude. That's what we really wanna find. I just hope that we have the right time of day for it. And TM45 attract, not too shabby. Yo, Azuril! Yo, okay, so we just found a wild Azuril, and it's definitely a rock type uh, based on that. I've been avoiding the kind of the static one because I'm still looking for this Chargo Pokemon that it mentioned. I have no idea what that is, but I feel like if I can't find it, I'll go with the Azuril. Cause honestly, a rock type wouldn't even be that bad. It just depends. Does that thing have, that looks to be Meryl right there actually in the grass. Does it have um, huge power like regular Meryl, right? Like that's going to be the question. Cause huge power on a rock type could actually be kind of busted, uh, but we'll keep looking around. I found a bunch of Skidoos. I've kind of just been running this grass for a while. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, I've been looking for like a half hour. I can't find this thing, man. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I'm gonna just take my my Meryl here and call it a day. I hate to I hate to do that. I, I really do, but I've been looking forever. Maybe it's only a nighttime. I don't know. But let's see. Is this a Meryl? It is. It is a Meryl standing on top of a stone block. I actually really want this thing anyway, so it's no big deal. Um, just gotta figure out how do I catch it without knocking it out. Uh, I feel, I feel like Bite should not knock this thing out. So let's go for Bite. Although if this is Rock Fairy, I'm actually dead. Yeah, I might be dead. He's got Flail. Okay, so I'm not dead, thankfully. If that was Rock Fairy though, I actually would have been in trouble. Well, I think it is Rock Fairy because Bite was resisted. So I'm actually a-okay with this though. Uh, this is a really cool looking Pokemon. So it's no big deal. Let's go for Peck. Quick Attack is actually really strong. Jeez, how much does Peck do? Nothing. Okay. Let's peck it again. I don't want to lose this. Smackdown. Okay, that's huge power. I feel like that's huge power. That does so much. Do I go Nala? Let's go Nala and then let's try to catch this thing. 
I actually really like it. It's an angry Azura or Meryl. Oh my God, why are you so strong? What do I have here? I have quick balls and I have great balls. Let's throw a great ball at it. See if I can catch this thing. I love it so much though, I'm not even mad. Like I feel like it looks awesome. And I catch it, let's go baby. All right, so that's huge. That's actually huge for us. Let's take a look, is it fairy? It's rock and fighting. It uses tail to swing around the, I almost lost Pokemon then. Uh, when not in common, it uses the rock as a perch to see above tall grass and watch for enemies. Yo, I love this thing. All right, we're gonna name it Nexus after my man Num Nexus. And I, I kinda have to go to the PC and take a look. I don't know how I swap him on right now, but I have to go look at least. Okay, so there's actually no way for me to get a PC like anywhere nearby. So we'll have to take a look at that thing later. And I'm just gonna kind of advance on this next route as we've completed that route. I do have a question of the day though for you guys as we head to Hayfield Plateau, which should actually be quite a bit of fun. I'm gonna get 07 some action here. And that brings me to my question is what is, in your opinion, who Pebble Dust Cave connects back to Haydust Town, but I don't think you can reach it from this end. All right, so this is a new route, which means new encounters. I can't get in that grass. There's a double battle. I'm excited for the double battle. Let's get it. Um, let us use, let's use Captain Jack and 07. That feels like a cool bet. Um, I was gonna ask a question today. Who is the most OP Pokemon in a Nuzlocke? Historically, I've been using Pokemon like Gyarados. Intimidate is so strong. I feel like Wobbuffet can be really, really good though. There's a Tauros and a Miltank. So this is actually not a joke of a fight here. Um, I'm gonna immediately counter and I'm gonna go for a low sweep and we're gonna go into the Tauros. I'm not gonna lie though, I could lose Pokemon here. Um, okay, I flinch and of course they don't even attack me. So that's a thing. Uh, we're gonna counter again. I have to get Captain Jack off the field already. So let's go into, let's go into Reptar. Reptar can attack the Tauros and hopefully deal some big damage there. And here's another, they're not attacking 07 at all. They are simply attacking the other side. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna counter again and I guess switch again. I, I, why? Why does this keep happening? I'm just trying to beat this, attack 07. Stop, no, stop. Do they just, I'm gonna lose Nala. Do they just not attack 07? Fine. Fine. You want to play this game? I will play this game. I am going to use a Lemonade on Nala. And I am going to use Nala to spark into Miltank. That's what I'm going to do. You want to play this game? Fine. Here comes Rage and Stomp. All they want to do is attack that side. Why though? That did zero. Okay, I have to switch then. I can't keep using 07 if that's what's going to happen. I can't even stay in here, can I? Um, I will use a Soda Pop on Nala. This is a tough battle, dude. This is a tough battle. I need to get rid of one side. I think it, it's like you go after the Mill Tank first. Here's a Bide. Okay, so we just don't attack the Mill Tank, which is fine. I get Horn attacked. We just don't attack the Mill Tank. So let's go for Nostril Flare and let's go for Spark into Tauros. I missed the Nostril Flare, which is actually a big deal. Here comes the Rage. I'm gonna have to switch out. Oh, that's actually such a big deal. Oh, he's Rage is building, okay. I'm gonna Nostril Flare and then I'm gonna switch out and go into maybe Loco. Tell me how this is like a serious fight right now. All right, there's the Nostril Flare that I missed. Bai doesn't do anything, which is good. Here comes the Horn Attack and a Loco who almost dies. Oh my God. I don't even know if I can leave Loco in here. I will use another potion on Loco. This is very bad. Actually, you know what? We have to go 07. We have to go 07. I feel like I have to go 07 here. Switching 07, Nostril Flare. Hopefully knocks out the Tauros. Like if I can knock out the Tauros, then I think we're okay. Okay, that's actually massive. Jeez, dude. Like legit, and he goes for Bide, okay. So what that means is we go for Hone Claws and we go for Charm. Actually, yeah, we just Charm it, I think. And we just kind of set up all over it and then we should be fine. Wow, I legit, <laughs> I thought I was about to lose Mons, guys. I really did. Um, we can go for Hone Claws and then we'll just Charm it again. And it's gonna unleash its energy, doesn't work. And then we should be fine because generally speaking now, I just attack it. Although, 
I will say if it binds again, I guess that's a problem, right? I think we're okay. Do I nail? I'll nail flick and then I'm gonna go out into, I can't switch. I guess we charm again or encore. Counter. He does go for bide. Okay, this is a problem. This is a huge problem. This is a huge problem. I have to hone claws and I have to counter because if he goes for that bide and it it's double damage, so I have to like basically make sure I don't mess this up. Unleash energy in a Zippo. Okay, we're fine. All right, we're home closet again. This has been a crazy fight, dude. Like you would think this was gonna just be an easy fight, but it just, it has not been. All right, we're gonna nail flick and then we're going to counter. Okay, it doesn't bide this time. It defense curls. God, you've been annoying. Why don't they attack 07? Does the AI make it so 07's like not busted in this game? Cause if that's the case, that could be very problematic cause I'm kind of relying on it just being busted. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I get through those two farmers. That was crazy. I actually have to go all the way back and heal now though. The more time you spend with someone or something, the more you give yourself to it. So when you lose them, it's like losing a part of yourself. That's very true on this Nuzlocke experience, my friends. We have a Pokemon that really deserves to travel more. If you'd be willing to take him, there's a Pokeball sitting on the table. I got a Koki Seed? The heck is a Koki Seed? It's a little dude. What do I name this thing? I'm gonna name him Korok and he's gonna go to the PC. So I can't see what Koki Seed is. Oh, wow. Why did I not know that these field guides existed? Zigzagoon, Gulpin, Talo, Skiddo, and you may run into Tauros, Miltank, Spritzy, or Sunflora. And then in the water, you can find nothing crazy. Yo, I didn't even know these field guides existed. Have I legit been missing out on these this whole time? That's so clutch. All right, so in this patch of grass, there wasn't really anything super crazy. Um, I do feel like Sunflora could be kind of sick. Um, I just got a Koki seed though, which is totally a grass type. Um, I don't really know. I mean, we're about to head into this cave, it looks like. Pebble Dust Cave, so we get kind of a new encounter there. I guess I'm just gonna grab something, because honestly, I don't really know what I want. So, Gulp, I don't want Gulpin. That's, I can tell you that. So I'll keep looking. I'll find something cool. I think I'll probably take, maybe I just take the Tauros or the Miltank. Miltank might actually be busted. I could have gotten another Zuril. so kind of choked that, right? Like, I should have definitely gotten, I should have spent more time on Chargo and then gotten the Azumarill here, but that's kind of the risk you take. Electric types feel like they might be busted. Do I go with another electric type just in case Nala goes down? I don't know. I feel like if I can get a mill tank, that's probably the best thing. All right, I've actually decided I'm gonna go with Tauros. Uh, I'm gonna see if this Tauros is Intimidate. If not, I'll check the other one. I think Intimidate Tauros actually makes a lot of sense. I can't, yeah, it's called Intimidate. I'm going for Intimidate Tauros. I feel like if I can catch this thing, it's gonna be worth. Um, Intimidate super strong. We were just talking about how strong Intimidate can be on a playthrough. And it's just, it's too good to pass up. I feel like the fact that I have this opportunity here, it's kind of a no-brainer as you can see just how strong this thing is actually gonna be. I actually have to kind of play around a pursuit right now and heal up. Um, this thing might actually be really hard to catch though. <laughs> That's the only thing, he is gonna go for rage. I'll try to catch it with a great ball. I feel like he might be really hard to catch. Let's see. I, I kind of want Tauros now. Come on, come on. Yes, dude, let's go. We got a Tauros. Our box is actually kind of stacked now all of a sudden. Level 20 wants to learn flame, flame Wheel, Flame Wheel. That's not the speed boosting one, but it's still strong. I guess I'll get rid of Growl. I like a uh, Flame Charge better. Loco gets to 18 and we do get a Taurus. So honestly, I will take it. I'm gonna name him Rampage, let's go. All right, Pebble Dust Cave. And you know what happened the last time I went into a cave? Looks like we got a trainer right out the gates too. I'm doing some research for Professor Wormwood. I really would love to get a dope encounter here. We've got a super cool team, four Pokemon, Cleffa to kick it off. I got Loco out here. I think Loco's nature power probably is power gem again. Yeah, power gem. I gotta find me a water stone. That did zero. Okay, Um, probably gonna wanna switch out into something a little bit stronger here. Can't go into Captain Jack. Reptar's not terrible. Let's go Nala. Uh, Cause Nala's gonna get the rivalry boost. 
and should be fine. So he's gonna copy, <laughs> legit just copycats into Sweet Kiss. Like, that's what we're doing. All right, let's go for Spark. Let's see how much Spark does. I hit myself in Confusion. I hit myself a lot in Confusion and I get Encored into nothing. Come on, here we go. Oh boy, I hit myself again. And here comes the copycat, doesn't work. Am I really about to risk this? I feel like I have to heal. Um, I do not have a lot of super potions. I have a lot of regular potions. All right, let's heal up. And hope that Nala can do something here and not end up getting uh, hit in confusion for a third straight time. There we go, snapped out. This should one shot. Clef is not that bulky. Good, okay. Uh, Spark is gonna be really strong here. Reptar to 20 wants to learn Fury Attack. Gosh, you need some better moves really badly. Sableye. Level 17 female Sableye. I still want Sableye if it's in this cave, but I want it with Prankster. Hidden abilities, I've maybe seen, I don't know, maybe 15 hidden abilities. I feel like it's a 1% chance for hidden ability. I don't think it's that high. An Iggly buff, I had a feeling she was gonna have all female Pokemon. Um, yeah, we're just gonna wreck. Kind of sick that we have two rivalry Pokemon, one that's good against females and one that's good against males. And of course, I say that and then they have a male Togepi which I can no longer one shot, but I think we still beat it with another spark. So we should be fine here. We'll hit spark again and knock out this little Togepi. See you later, buddy. All right, so that's his trainer. Let's see what Pebble Pebble Dust, Pebble Stone Cave has in store for us. Hey, you gotta battle me. All right, let's see what you got for me. Kind of working my way through the cave. We got Youngster, Gabe, and his Saiyan Shrew. Oh, you don't want to deal with Loco. Loco is here, ready to play in the rain and eat some quesadillas, baby. Get, get wrecked, dude. <laughs> Oh man, this should be this should be a pretty easy walk in the park. What else you got? A Zubat, okay. Actually, 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 nature power. Power gem. Boom. Loco! I don't know if that one shots. It does. See? Never stressed it, never doubted it for a second. Loco's here. Erratic, okay. Calm down there, sir. I'm gonna just growl, honestly. I'm gonna hit him with a growl. Because I'm about to get pursued, and I feel like this thing is kind of no joke. Sucker punch. Okay, what? tell me how my dude has eradicate. It's actually kind of scary. Is it actually really scary? Is it a male or a female? It's a female. I'm gonna go Nala. Yeah, I'm gonna go Nala. No pursuit, big. Hopefully it's sucker punched. Hyper Fang, that's what I was worried the most about. And that's why I switched. It's a good thing I did, because this is gonna hurt. Wow. That's crazy, dude. I do knock it out with a massive crit! Tell me how Nala is so clutch. In between those naps, she wakes up and just clutches up, dude. And a Watchog. It's a male Watchog, so I'm gonna go Reptar. And get that rivalry boost. That is, yo, she has been so clutch. Tell me how this trainer, like, actually is serious business. Double kick with the boost. Doesn't do enough. And before hypnosis, crunch. All right, we're fine. Jeez, dude. A 20 Raticate. That's a strong Pokemon. This is why I want a Sableye. I feel like Sableye would be so good. I don't even know if he's in this cave though. I beat Gabe, but he was not an easy battle. You a big cave fan? Me too. Oh man, there's a lot of caves already, guys. Hiker Brad has a Dunspars. It's a male Dunsparce. I'm going straight into Reptar and I'm kicking this thing's face in, dude. Hit him with the double kick, Screech. A little concerning. He's only level 15 though, so I feel like double kick probably is fine here. Let's see how much this does. Dude, it's just shy every time of being a two KO. All right, what else you got? Spite. All right, so I lose some double kicks. It's not a big deal. I'll knock out this Dunsparce. We can trade a Dunsparce, by the way, for that Shelter in the original town. I'm not sure. If that's worth, but it's a cool idea. Here's an Aeron. I'm gonna just double kick it because there's no way he lives a double kick. Yeah, I didn't think so. Even with Sturdy, obviously, we break through that. So Reptar's doing his thing. And what else you got for me? And a Mawile. Now that is a scary Pokemon. I feel like we go Zippo and we click our fire move. Yo, Mawile actually with Intimidate could be a sick pickup. Cause Steel and Fairy is just really good. So if I find a Mawile in this cave, that may be the play. If I find Intimidate Mawile, like that might be the best encounter for us. Captain Jack gets a 21. I don't know what level he evolves. Not 21, okay. That's the end of the cave already? I feel like I missed a bunch of stuff then. 
I'm very confused. Ooh, a Clefairy! That's probably the rarest thing I've seen so far. I don't want it, but it's still really cool. Yo, there's the Dunsparce! Bro, I gotta go for it. I think that's the play. I think the play is we catch a Dunsparce and we we trade it for the Shelter. I feel like that sounds kind of funny, but I feel like it's the play. Assuming I don't knock him out. Cause that is a, it's a different Shelter I'm pretty sure. I feel like it's worth, I feel like it's actually worth cause it could be sick. I don't knock him out, which is amazing. And now I just gotta catch him. So let's see if we can catch him. I caught him. Let's go baby. So we caught the Dunsparce. So I guess that's our encounter. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna use him to trade. I mean, I could still use him with Serene Grace, but I think I'm gonna name him Lucky for now. But I do feel like the trade is actually a really cool option. Um, I don't know how to get that. I can't quite figure out how to get to this TM, but I think that's the end of the cave. I, I don't know how to get this TM here. I'm trying to figure it out. Well, that's weird. Sometimes it, le it's, it lets you attack when you try to escape, and then other times it doesn't. Maybe it's because of its ability. Maybe. If you, can, if you can't escape because of Shadow Tag, you get to attack first. And then if you can't escape because you're slower, then they attack first. I don't know. But how do I get this item, dude? You have to jump down from that ledge, but I don't know how to get up there. I have no idea. It's whatever. And we found Telekinesis here. I do feel like that's the end of Hayfield Plateau. And I actually seemingly can't backtrack. We get a Black Flute. I don't think we can backtrack at this point. I think we just, this is, we just move forward. And I feel like I need to like climb up the rocks to be able to get, can you go back maybe? I have no idea. I'm just gonna explore. And I found TM37 Thunder Wave, but now I have to go all the way back. So I have to go back to the cave. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was worth it to be honest. Hey, that rock you're holding looks like it would be good for smashing bugs. I don't suppose you let me have that. So the rock that we got earlier, now we get a Psyduck Pail, which is for berries. Uh, you don't need it for berry trees. So maybe you'll find another use for it. Oh, interesting. So maybe it's not for berries. I don't know what it's for then. But I just use repels and now we're gonna go into here, I guess, which I think is the way to get to the forest. And it looks like we can heal and have a mart and a PC. This is big. Okay, so here's our squad that we haven't seen. It is huge power, dude, what? Brave nature, huge power. This thing is with a minus attack. This thing is legitimately the most busted Pokemon of all time. I feel like if I don't add it to my team, I'm an absolute idiot. Scrappy Korok here, our Koki Seed. Quirky nature with Scrappy, can hit ghost types, absorb Leech Seed, Razor Leaf Headbutt, not bad. Rampage with Intimidate, Calm Nature is kind of bad though. And then Lucky, which is Impish and Serene Grace. Look at those stats. Can you believe those stats? Okay, um, all right, so I got a tough decision to make, clearly. Okay, I had to make a very tough decision, and that is to put the Lipstick Love in 07 in the PC to grab Nexus. I just feel like this Pokemon is way too strong to not have on the team right now. Uh, and I'll tell you a little bit about Nexus. Nexus is always angry, all right, always angry. I don't think I've ever seen Nexus smile, like for real, I hate to say it, but it's true. Never smiled once. Uh, this thing is brave and it is ready to hit the gym. It is, re Nexus is ready to hit the gym. Loves hitting the gym, stays buff. And one other thing you guys should know about Nexus is Nexus does not like bug type Pokemon. And I know that sounds a little crazy because I'm the bug guy, right? But Nexus does not like bug type Pokemon in the slightest. It does give me um, two fighting types on the team, which is a little bit scary, but I think it's okay. I think Nexus is too good to not add to the team. This thing, this thing seems busted as heck, dude. I'm not even gonna lie. Like. I feel like this might be like the strongest Pokemon we could have. So I'm jazzed up about it. We are going to the Genesis Forest after I talked to this dude on the bench. Kind of forgot to talk to him. Has larger areas and a small clearing in the middle of it. All right, so let's explore the forest, see what we got. It has an exit in all four cardinal directions. I try to stick by one so I don't get lost. All right, well, let's see what we got here. Hope you brought your repels. It's about to get buggy. Ooh, I like it. And there's a Pikachu on the log too. All right, bug catcher Bart got a Caterpie. This is gonna be, Nexus gets to feast, ladies and gentlemen. Just lay out the dinner table, lay out the buffet. Nexus, the bug type hating, angry, lift, rock lifting monster is here to destroy some things. Butterfree, get wrecked. I'm just, dude, I, I'm so ready. I got a lot of it. Oh, I'm, I just realized I'm a fighting type. I have to be a little bit more careful. Um, This is gonna be like 700 XP though. 1200 XP, oh my God, just get some levels right now. Getting Rock Throw, 
Smackdown is better though. So I guess there's really no reason for Rock Throw when I can use Smackdown. Just straight up gained a whole level and a half. Nala's trying to learn Roar, no. And here's a Metapod. Bro, I am so jazzed up about Nexus right now. I thought maybe I made a mistake by not looking for that Charge Oak, dude. But I feel like we, we, we made the right call. We made the right call. We have this. This was the play. Let's get it. Seems like I found an exit and there's one of the evil team dudes. Stay alert, the target is more likely than in the area. They're elusive and quick, which shouldn't come as a surprise. If we can catch Celebi, it's time distorting abilities will give us the upper hand. Got it, Captain. That is unnecessary, you don't have to call me Captain. Commander, what's our next destination? Commander is a bit much. Let's not worry about titles and ranks, and I literally just told you what the plan was before we got here. Have your partner fill you in if you can't remember. All right, let's move. Keep an eye peeled for the time traveler. Good one, boss. Keep an eye peeled, like an onion, because Celebi's head looks like an onion. Is that why it's considered a grass type? Enough, we need to move. Celebi. And I'm apparently the time traveler. So we just have a lot to unpack right now. A forest shrine, there's a small empty space inside. Celebi! Bro, I just saw it. I just saw it. Dog, this is crazy. Uh, Zippo just learned Bite, which is kind of sick. I guess I'll get rid of Nail Flick for that. Yo, a Darpool? Okay, I'm just battling a random trainer. He just sent out a Darpool, which I one-shot. <laughs> but that was kind of sick. I want the little dude. And a Gumi. Ooh. That's kind of spicy. I wonder if I can find Gumi in this forest. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just kind of exploring right now, taking on some trainers. <gasps> and Nexus is evolving already? Dog, this thing is too powerful! Nexus is already evolving. This is so busted. This is so busted. Oh my God, still so angry. Been hitting the gym. Gonna swing around that rock and just destroy souls. I definitely don't need reversal. I feel like this Pokemon is insane, actually. I actually feel like this is insane. 46 attack with huge power. I have no words. I have no words. But that is insane. And it has quick attack. If it gets Excel Rock, just forget it. Just forget it. And we found TM09 Venishock. Finally a good move, I take it. There's a Yanma floating around. I actually kind of like Yanma. I feel like there's gotta be something cooler to find though. And a Poison Barb. I'm finding some really good items now. And TM56 Fling. Not too shabby. Oh, there's a Kecleon here. Okay, so I can't go that far because the Kecleon. It's time for a whole battle. All right, let's see. I just want to see Nexus throw rocks at things right now. Bugcatcher Lupus has a Burmy. Poor guy. Doesn't stand a chance. Uh, guys, I honestly, I don't even know what to say, man. I feel like we have the most busted Pokemon of all time. I just, I, this is going to hurt, actually. Okay, we're good. No confusion, we're good. I have to actually be a little careful. Um, Cause it's not, it's like fairy, there's fairy moves, there's flying moves, there's psychic moves. We have things that are, well not flying, but there's things that could do stuff. Low kick, I like low sweep, so I'm gonna stick to that. This thing is just ridiculous, dude. I just, I honestly can't believe how this game said, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna give you this Pokemon because that's just crazy strong. And TM96 water pulse. And I don't know if this is a rest house or a place to leave. Let me stag these berries. I've only explored two different sections of the forest, I think. So it seems as though we can advance to the next location of the game, which is Palkin Trail, but I have not finished really exploring the forest. So I'm gonna keep looking around and see what I can find. I still have an encounter and a couple other things. I'm hunting an elusive Pokemon. You ever heard of Kidfoot? Some people don't think it's real, but I know it is. Bro, I want a Kidfoot. Tell me that's like a secret Pokemon in this forest. It's like Bigfoot, but Kidfoot. Bugs evolved pretty early in their life cycle, let me show you. All right, but are you ready for me to drop rocks on your head, Ricky? Butterfree, level 20 though. Smackdown. I'm gonna get stun sport. As long as I don't get paired, we destroy this thing. Goodbye. I mean, this has been such good XP for Nexus. I love it. Butterfree just gets destroyed. I get a whole level. Rest of the team gets a ton, and then here's a Beedrill. What is Beedrill doing to me? Fury attack that's resisted. Bro, I know I have said it like seven times, but this Pokemon is so crazy strong. Huge power, brave nature. Why did I get such a powerful Pokemon? I'm I'm in love. I'm so happy about this. Crazy dude. What the heck is that? Is that a grass type Magnemite? Hold up. 
Bro, is that is that it? That might be the play. That might be the play, dude. It's a grass type magnemite. TM round. I feel like I just do I just commit? I'll come back. I'll come back. I feel like that's the play though. I mean I have a grass type already. But a grass type magnemite sounds kinda sick, dude. Do I just commit? I can't go any further. I'm committing. I'm committing. I want it. No, 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 no! Come back! I want you come back to me! Bullet seed. Bro, I can't believe you just ran away! There's the Magnemite again. No, no, come back! Oh, he's back! No, 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 stop running away! I'm like chasing this dude everywhere. I really want this Magnemite. Okay, this has to be it. He's still going. He ran through the door. I found TM23 Smackdown. But I'm looking for the Magnemite and I cannot find him. And TM107 Flash Flood, what is that? The user caused a quick surge of flowing water to drown out the foe, it always goes first. Bro. Loco can't learn it though. Uh, oh, he can learn Water Pulse though. Why have I not taught him Water Pulse? Oh my God, I'm slacking. Wait, Reptar can learn Water Pulse too? Wait, we're onto something here. I haven't checked my TMs in a while and I've been slacking on that for sure. Holy shenanigans, dude, what is that? Okay, so I'm legit just uh, kind of fighting some random trainers and things of that nature. And uh, this thing just popped up. Um, I have to figure out how do I beat this as well. I think Nala is a play. I am a little nervous to keep Nexus in because I may take a fighting move. Like, I feel like I one shot it, but do I get one shot back? I'm going for it, YOLO. Oh, dude. <laughs> Probably was not worth the risk, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, and he's learning Rock Blast, dog. Goodbye, Mud Slap. Uh, I'm trying to find the Magnemite on the next route and I cannot find it. Captain Jack wants to learn agility. He might actually evolve right now. Loco wants to learn Bubble Beam. I just taught you Water Pulse. And a Larvitar. Okay, this we just one shot. I just got the spoilers on our Firo. I feel like I'm gonna evolve right now, right? Like this, this match. In a Hound Hour, you get low sweat. Everything gets low swept. Nexus destroys everything. I still can't find this Magnemite. It's making me sad. Nala gets a 26. Do you evolve? He does not evolve. Okay. Still looking for Magnemite. No idea where it is. There it is! Magnemite. Stop. Please. Please. I just want to catch you. I can catch him. Level 25 Magnemite, he's 100% Grass type. I have to be very careful. Let's go into Reptar. I, oh my God, I actually chased him all the way down. I actually chased this thing all the way down here. Okay, we are going to, there's no way Horn Attack KOs. It's probably Steel type, yeah. It's Steel Grass, dude. Toxic. Toxic spikes? Steel grass with toxic spikes? Wait, tell me how this might be the, like, equally busted. I may have found two insanely busted Pokemon on the same episode. This thing, oh my God. I need to catch it right now. Um, Great ball? Let's go! Dude! Okay. Okay. Your boy Swagnamite is here, grass and steel. Once Hazeport City plateaued into urbanization, many Magnemite migrated to Genesis Forest. Over the years, they became one with the plant life. Yo. I'm gonna name you Swag. Swagnamite. Your boy Swagnamite going to the PC. I need to immediately double back and go see what's good with Swagnamite. We just found Rock Tomb as well, as if as if we needed the help. So, I, the only thing I will say is I don't know what that counts for in terms of our encounter. I never got an encounter in Genesis Forest and I never got an encounter on this route. I guess I'm gonna take that encounter for this route and just call it there and I won't get an encounter on this route. I, it may mean I miss out on something dope, but I'll take the Swagnamite. I still get a Genesis Forest encounter though. Oh my, it has Regenerator. <laughs> it has Regenerator. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I don't know what to tell y'all. Chat, 
I need you guys to tell me what do I do. I, I need to add this thing to the team. I don't know what to do. Guys, show some love. That's the end of this episode, man. I've been recording for almost two hours. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Infinity. This, this was crazy. This was crazy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.